Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Bomberman 2 for the NES Part 2. Today we delve into Area 3, which is a caged mountain area. So let's get right back to it, folks. I didn't blow up the mountain. What was up with that bomb exploding sound? Oh well, Area 3-1, let's press on. Okay, here we're at, um... Okay, the green stuff we bombed. Kill the Pontan before he kills me. Yeah, we got more Valcon balloons. Surprise, surprise. They're they're in almost every stage. They're the most basic enemy in Bomberman. And we got some green frogger looking guy. He's dead now. And done with 3-1 already. Hoorays. 3-2. What awaits here? I think this stage was falsely advertised. It showed a giant mountain, yet this doesn't really look like a demonic mountain stage. It looks like something completely different. It looks like a grassy Chinese checkerboard. Almost. Okay, got Valcon Balloon and Green Blob, green blob guys, which is man. And we got that Frogger-looking guy. Yes, they're gonna be called Froggers. And a blue slime guy. Although I think you got a makeover in this game. I don't know. And Frogger guy again. Time to flip the frog. Before he flips me. Not gonna give him that chance. And there's a gate. Now to find my item. Will it be rollerblades? Will it be an extra bomb? Will it be more flames to power up my bombs? Will it be the red bomb if it's even in this game? I mean, what could it be? I have to wonder, and I have to find it. Eh, let's see, let's bomb this mess over here. And it's a power vest, which gives you invincibility for a short amount of time. Not that I really need it here, the stage is done anyway. Alright, 3-3. Three, three. Save again, what the hell. I meant to save state before going into the level. Oh, we got the coin guy back. And we got a slime dude. Seems like the coin guys are not really that tough in this game. They don't, they can't go through walls anymore. So that kind of made them really weak now. We got the blue slime guy. Boom, dead. He's still no threat. He moves slow enough that you can catch him. And the Frogger is there, gotta get rid of him too. Boom! Caught you, sucker! With the tail end of that bomb string. Okay, free the Frogger and then we're gonna kill him, hopefully. Yeah, right into my flame, sucker! Booyah! Another coin guy over there I gotta get. Yeah, they're way more fearsome in the original Bomberman, and even in T.O.T. They're kind of sad in this game. Oh, poor helpless coin guy. You used to be so tough, and now you aren't. What have they done to you? Oh, walk-through wall item, nice. Very convenient to have that. I have a feeling we'll run into the walk-through bomb item soon, too. They gotta have that in this game somewhere. We go through here. Boom, boom, boom. And Kate's gonna be back here, I guess. Within one of these three orbs. And gonna be down here? Yep. It better be, because that's the last push. 3-4. <laughs> here we come. Okay then. Oh! Found the item already! Oh, oh yeah, can't walk through my bombs for not. Gotta get the walk through the bomb item. And I don't have that right now, still. Oh, the blue winged dragon bat things are back again. Didn't last long, though. <laughs> yeah. 
Bomb you free and then kill you. Haha. <laughs> I had that pre planned. And slime and balloon both go together. Okay, I got a frogger guy and another slime dude to get rid of. Okay, froggy. Time to get fried. Aha! Frogger and Slime go together. Ah! I caught myself at the tail end of the flame. That was stupid. I got too overzealous. I should have waited. Me and my trigger happiness. I'm just too anxious to get through the level fast and I ended up killing myself. I know I want to get out of here, but I gotta be careful not to kill myself. Like I said, that does tend to happen if you get a little fast with the roll bombs and you want to get through the stage quick. Always make sure to get your ass out of the way before you set them off. I thought I was out of the way good enough, but apparently not. I still got killed. Aha, killed two enemies in a row. Whoa, hoo, hoo. No, a third death is not going to be happening. I died more than I should have already. Will not happen again. I'm gonna try my damnedest to make sure it doesn't happen again. I can't promise that it won't. Okay, let's go. Done. Hopefully I won't have any more goof-ups for the rest of this LP. Anyways, 3-5. And they put me close to a coin guy right off the bat. And speaking of, Batch just fried one. Oh, oh, oh. And let's see, try to get these bombs laid out. And Froggy gonna come my way? Yes, he is. Dead. Boom! Goodbye, slime dude. Goodbye, Froggy. And now to find the gate. And we have found said gate. But you know what? I think I want to find the item first. Flame! Now let's go! Now we should be wrapping up Area 3 shortly. 3-6. And more slimes. And he turned the other direction. Curse you! Oh boy. Yeah, almost had a third death there. There we go, both slimes have been... well... Eh. They're just dead! I can't come up with anything. I'm tired. It was a long day. I had quite a few orders. So my brain is just kind of on, uh... autopilot at the moment. I'm sure you guys could understand that feeling. Ooh, extra life even though I don't need it, but I will take it anyway. So instead of being at like four or five lives, I should technically be at three. Or two. Alright, Pontans. Roasted one. Is this one gonna come back around? Yes, he is. And dead. Now we got two froggers. And one frogger goes down. And so will the other. Now let's be careful not to kill myself anymore. Wait for Bomberman to completely get out of the way before I set them off. I'm going to keep humming the music because I enjoy it. And into the gated refrigerator. Seriously. It looks like a refrigerator. Even if it was, I'm sure the cold air wouldn't bother Bomberman. He's a robot. He wouldn't be able to feel it. And again, I must ask, why are we in a prison cell? 
instead of stealing from the fact that Bomberman actually steal food? I don't know. Maybe he stole a Wii U for himself. Imposter Bomberman! Stop showing up! There's only room enough for me. Alright, get over here. I don't know if intercepting him does anything. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't, I don't know. Area 37. And what do we have? Slime dudes. And we got a coin guy as well, and a pop tab. Woo! Yeah, better walk through the wall and get to safety. There we go. That was a pretty tight spot there. Coin guy coming after me? Well, we might be. But no luck! Now kill the frogger guy. Okay, froggy. There we go. I don't set off that bomb. Okay. Bit of a tight spot there, but we got around it. Alright, this is the last stage of Area 3. And we get money! Okay, we got a slime, a frogger, a green blob guy. What else? We got pond hands lurking. Boom! Roasted both of those enemies. Now we got another slime over there. Boom! Goodbye, Pontan's both dead. And wait for the slime to get on that tree. Kill. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Boom! Dead. And I got another frogger down there we gotta get rid of. And goodbye, froggy. Now you get to hop towards heaven. Okay. Now to locate that blasted gate, wherever that might be. Whole lot of bombing needs to be done to find it. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we found the gate. And let's enter. And that should wrap up Area 3. Yep, now we enter Area 4. Which is a giant dome-like lake? I don't know. Let's find out. Area 4-1. Um, is this like a tundra or something? I don't know. Could be. Oh no. Get over here. Oh no. Oh god, oh god. Enemy's too close! Ooh, managed to clear them all out, though. I saw some new enemies, but... I was too busy trying to focus on keeping myself alive that I couldn't really describe the enemy. They'll probably appear in the next level, so I'm not too worried. Let's just blow up these, uh, weeds or whatever they're supposed to be. They look like... Look like balls of hay or something, I don't know. 4-1 done! Next up on the list we have... 4-2! Okay, some kind of blue gel guy. He's dead. Yep, oh, fat dragons are back. At Pontan. And we got some kind of weird green tramp. Oh, what the heck is that? Is that like a green cupcake with a mouth? I don't know. Some kind of killer cupcake. It's dead now. And we got some blue gelatin guy. We kill him. And he's gone. It could be a blue ball of ice cream. I don't know. I'm guessing this is supposed to be some kind of tundra. Okay, we don't need to look for items because we got it here already, I think. Anyways, 4-2 done. Pressing on. 
And we continue deeper into the tundra. Got Pontans, Dragon Bat things, all these ice gelatin guys again. Dead. Dead! Okay, Pontan. Boom. Go away. Yeah, we're not really seeing much of the Falcon balloons anymore. I guess they've had enough of us. Or maybe they're not challenging enough anymore. Hey, green alligator cupcake guy, come back. Okay, got the gate. Still gotta clean up some enemies first before we leave. Another cupcake alligator guy, let's get rid of him. And now we got a green blob. Boom, goodbye. Very interesting, unique music. Yeah, I gotta be very careful not to set those bombs off too quickly, because like I said, I killed myself before. It could happen again. Invincibility item, I think, or something. Don't need it. And done with this stage. Onward to 4-4. I think there's a total of seven areas in this game, so... I think it's safe to say we're on... We're, I think we're about past the halfway point. Or close to it. Alright, blew up the bat guys. They're gone. Okay, green alligator cupcake guy's gonna be next to go. Oh, Yeah, free Pontan. Kill, kill! I'm gonna try and play some zigzag mind games with me, and I want to have no part of that. Oh, do we go? Boom! And there he is over there, too. Goodbye, dead. Okay, we found the gate already. That's good. Let's go freeze, freeze this ice cream, dude. Pontans to get rid of. Well, actually, one more. Gone. And an enemy over here? Nope, nothing. And since we got the item, let's just leave. Another stage complete. Area 4 5. Oh boy, coin guy back. What's a coin doing in this cold weather? He's kind of locked in between the blocks, too. Kind of feel sorry for him. He's not going to be able to make much of an impact that way. Okay, Cupcake Guy, you're dead. Goodbye, Pontan. Goodbye, Ice Cream. Yep, he melted. Haha. <laughs> he wandered into the flame. And that Pontan's done. Done like dinner. Okay, Coin Guy. You die. And I get your money! And bye-bye to another stage. Next up, more sex. And once I finish Area 4, I think we're probably gonna cut it off. Who knows, I might have time to get a little bit of Area 5 done, we'll see. Depends on how quickly I get through it. Okay, Cupcake Guy's dead. Bird, Dragon, and Pontan, goodbye. Yeah, pretty soon the 2500s will be starting up, folks. The road to K&K, &K, Mr. GA, will finally begin. And I know you all can't wait for that. There's gonna be a lot of history made with that set, in one way or another. Glad to see Neo back in action, too, because... He'll kind of inspire me to make my series as best it, as it could be. Is having comp having competition, it'll really make my creative juices, you know, really boil over. Is he can push me, and I can push him. Try to outdo each other with our characters and matches. 
Eventually, we'll get together and do a super show where our, where both our characters will actually well, both our rosters will actually collide, like some kind of super show. Don't know when that will happen, but it'll eventually happen. Right now, I got a lot of projects to focus on, so might happen later in the year. We'll see. Melt the ice cream guy, and now let's get out of here. No more goosebumps for Bomberman. Bonus stage. Yeah, you get to kill more Valcon balloons. More of the same. Yes, wander into my flame, you helpless balloons. Toasty! I know I'm not Dan Forden, but I wanted to say that anyway. So blowing up the imposter does absolutely nothing, huh? Oh well. Maybe touching him touching him gives you an extra life, I don't know. Area 4-7. Okay, looks like we got some ice cream guys and some green blob guys. A Pontan, well, a couple Pontans, and a killer cupcake. Boom! Take that green blob! Okay, most of the enemy- Ooh, Pontan tried to pull a fast one there. But he did not succeed. Okay, Killer Cupcake, die! Oh, do I want to look for an item? Sure, why not? Oh, I didn't see that Pon- Ah, oh, you- I blew open the gate. Not that- Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's gonna bob and weave try to fool me? I don't think so. Okay, the bird dragons are dead. Boom! And I blew the item up, and I killed the Pontans anyway. So we cleared that stage, no probs. Next up. 4-8. One more stage to go, and then we're done with Area 4. Yeah, we found the gate already, damn. Okay, good to know that the Cupcake guys don't eat your bombs or anything. They're not like like-likes. I would have hate hated them otherwise. And killed the Pontan. And killed the ice cream dude. Okay, you're gonna die again? Yes, you will. Goodbye, Cupcake Guy! Oh, I saw another bomb go off over there! Oh, God. It's a mad frog bomber, I think. He's not gonna be bombing anything else. Yeah, I gotta really watch out for that guy. Especially at the start of a stage, if he starts next to me, I really gotta watch out. I could instantly be killed if he goes right into that at the start. Which would be kind of unfair if it was right next to me at the beginning. Okay, let's bomb the top here. Boom, boom. Oh, there's the gate. Didn't even see it. I'm blind as the blue bat on this game is. All righty roo, folks. Gonna stop the game here. We'll save Area 5 for the next part, which is this dark cave. Stay tuned for Let's Play Bomberman 2 for the NES, Part 3, when we'll delve into Area 5, this dark cave, and hopefully fight some more new enemies and work our way towards Black Bomberman. Anyways, see you then, peoples!